I am Kanika Joshi. I work as an impact manager with Open Data Institute. Uh, ODI was co-founded by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, who's the founder uh, and inventor of the World Wide Web. So that's the peculiar thing about it that I keep saying. I personally have been in the international development sector for about eight years. I work in the cross-section of everything which focuses on impact. I think it's really important for me to be part of planning processes where we're talking about things like innovation and scaling for development because I think that is when the time for impacting and like really embedding the terms like impact and actual participatory processes really means quite a lot. So I, that's why I really love being part of planning processes. So that's why I think it was extremely crucial for me to be here. I expected coming here as a resource person just talking about state of the art in impact management. Uh, that was my prior understanding of why I'm here. However, I would say that these three days have been full of learning for me as well. I have uh, loved to just like meet all the inspiring colleagues from the CG network and really understand the work that they're doing across the geographical spread because it is so exciting that they come up with nuances of like the grassroots level and really ensure that they're working on it from an innovation and scaling perspective. So I learned a lot about the innovation and scaling ecosystem that I otherwise would have not known in the agronomy sector. So that's my takeaway. I think uh, innovation and scaling is a mindset to not think small and to actually think of like huger potential that um, the, any projects that we're having can actually have. So I'm definitely using that as a mindset moving forward in any project that I do. Uh, rather than thinking of starting a product and creating a product and then, th uh, then thinking that how this project will scale up, actually starting fr thinking about innovation and scaling from the foundational level is definitely like a big insight that I will be embedding in my work itself. I also feel that there are huge collaboration potentials amongst the Open Data Institute and the CG network and I will be really exploring those relationships with uh, excellence in agronomy team and like really understanding what the innovations and scaling um, ecosystem can really collaborate with uh, ODI as, as in that perspective and even personally I'm just excited to see how we can actually make all the discussions that we had and all the OKRs and really ambitious targets that we set a reality and these are consistent processes which take like months and years so looking forward to be consistent with this approach in the long haul rather than just a touch and go kind of a initial training. Yeah, I think there are two things that uh, st stuck to my mind when I came here. One, that the world is small. I actually knew most people here from some networks or the others because the world in the international development sector is usually like everyone's working towards a mission. So you understand and like you are able to relate to the causes and the projects and the missions and the networks people are associated with. And uh, even if you collaborate uh, with newer entities like a VC firm or a, a different entity, it's really good to just like pull all of the things together so that it works in a much more intersectoral and cross-functional manner. So that's one. The second is just the power of bringing diverse voices and multiple geographies into one room. I think that's definitely a big takeaway of most times like when we have participatory processes, we see like white old men in a room four or five making all the decisions for the world and rolling it out however like this was a truly diverse um, like setup we were in rwanda kigali in such a nice co-working space uh, working with people and colleagues from south asia from africa from uh, other continents of the world and it was like really encouraging to see an actual participatory process rather than just like uh, a very siloed and a very exclusionary process from the get-go and I think that's the power of the network that Murat and colleagues have created as well so that's definitely another insight.